So how to catch these perfect entries that'll get you the biggest rewards with the smallest risk? Well, there is two charts that you use to do this where you use a target for one and then you choose your risk based on the other chart which allows for maximum risk to reward that is really going to benefit your trading. So stick around, I'm going to show you the two charts with this example on GBP AUD right here. Just real quick before I hop into it, if you like what I say and if you want to know more, my course, my mentorship and my community traders is only £49 right now. The link is in the description. So that is everything in terms of that. I'm going to get straight into it now. So firstly, what you want to do is, is you're on trading view here, which I assume is what pretty much everyone uses to do analysis. If not, I'm sure the same will be on your platform. So what you want to do is you want to go up here to this icon, which is your layout icon, and you want to go to the second one here. So you want two charts looking like that. So it doesn't matter which order you do this, it can be right or left, but on one of them, you have your daily. This is important. You have your daily. Then on the other, you have your 30 minutes. Now, these are the two charts we are going to use to get these perfect entries with the, our optimum risk to reward to take as much money as we can from the markets. So I'm just going to show you here exactly what you could have done last week to pretty much do this, do what I'm about to say. So start off with looking on the daily here, which is the right hand side chart. There's a few things we need to check up on before we start taking trades. So what's the trend? We are uptrending quite clearly. Um, we have been since the start of 2021, we've been forming higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. But now we have pulled back, which means this is probably the pullback before we get another push up. So where is this pullback going to stop before we reverse? That is what we are trying to find out here. So to do that, we need to draw on our key zones, which is quite clear from this example. So here, 24th to the 25th of February. We had a support formed, which was also a higher low. So it's a clear point of interest for us. So if we just draw our zone on there. This is a key zone where we are looking for support to be formed so we can push back up. Um, and we're looking to catch that move. If it's not there, then we are looking probably around here. I've got loads of videos on drawing zones, so just check them out if you want to. Um, so these are the zones we are expecting our reversals to happen on. So we are expecting a push up after we have tapped into one of these zones. So now in terms of targets, because we also use our targets, we use the higher time frame for our target. So we're using the daily here for our target. So if we look to the left, we see this area here was also a lower high, strong point formed strong uh, support formed here so it's obviously a clear zone so i'm going to mark that one on there so that is our target when we look for our buys initially obviously for longer term the targets would be all the way up at the highs up here but just now i'm going to show you this is you can still get a very good risk to reward just off doing this so as i said we look for a tap in there or a tap in there to buy up to this zone so how are we going to know when this tap has occurred? Because if we're just watching the daily, we're not going to catch it in time. So this is when we move to the 30 minutes on the left. So zoom in a bit. Now, what is very important is that you come to the market at the appropriate time. I talk so much about sessions in the market. So we've got London, we've got New York, we've got Asian the periods when volume is coming into the market. For me, I am active during London and during New York, which is the times of most volume. So at these times, I'm expecting a push up off these zones. This is when I'm expecting the move to come. So I'm going to be at the markets watching to get in my entry for this massive buy up that we're going to have to this zone, which as you can see on the 30 min is here. So that will be the target for buys. So next, I need my candlestick, which is a rejection candle. Um, in this video, I'm just talking briefly about all these things. So sessions, candlesticks, targets, higher time frames, low time frames. This is all brief. There is so much more to it. 
Um, I have videos on my channel, but the main depth is all on my course. Um, as I said, link in the description. But basically, what I'm going to be waiting for now is I'm going to be waiting for London session because at this point, it's coming towards like late Asian session. So I'm waiting for London session, which in GMT terms, we usually see volume between 7 a.m. to about 11 a.m. just before New York volume comes in. So I'm actively here waiting for a tap off this zone to push up. But how do I know we're going to reject this zone? Well, I look for a rejection candle. This can be either a candle that breaks through this zone and then pushes all the way back up, closes bullish up here, uh, leaving a wick below, signaling that we have rejected this zone, or a candle that taps in and we have a strong bullish close. Um, lots of people call it engulfing, but it just shows we have the buyers have entered the market and we have rejected this zone again. Because remember, we reject on the daily here, we're rejecting this lower high here. And we're expecting a push to this zone. So I'm just going to let this play a little bit. Um, let it play on the 30. Wait till we get to the zone. So what time is it now? About 6.30. So in a little while, London volume will be coming in there. Now you can see bigger moves are happening. This is because London volume is coming in. Um, so banks and institutions around Europe are starting to become active. Day is starting for them so we're going to see volume coming to the markets this is when we're expecting big moves to happen so we're pushing down to the zone again you can see we've kind of rejected the zone there we've tapped in but for me that's not a strong enough projection because the body's small we've got wicks either side so that is not enough for me now it is as you can see we've rejected this zone we closed bullish strong up here pretty clear confirmation that we've rejected this zone i'm expecting a massive bullish push up and the final point in terms of the smaller time frame here um you can either use the 30 the 15 or the one hour it's not too important but i do find the 30 is the best because if you're using the one hour sometimes you're missing moves if you're using the 15 sometimes you're getting in too early so i find the 30 is the perfect middle ground for this for the lower time frame but again see what works with you best but in terms of the higher time frame i would say 100 percent stick to the daily this is probably the best time frame for telling you what's going to happen the next day um 100 the daily is the best for the higher time frame now the dual time frame analysis comes into play because i'm just going to line up an entry here so i would enter on this candle um and obviously my target will be this daily level all the way up there about 130 pips away my level will be all the way up there because we could see a rejection at that point so i want my whole trade to be closed by then but now this is where the lower time frame we use for our stop loss because if we just look at the daily here we have no idea where we're going to put our you know our stop loss so this is when we use the lower time frame uh, our analysis and the rejection candle to use our stop loss so what you want to do for your stop loss i mean it, it relies depending on the person i like to put it about 10 pips below the uh the low of the rejection candle so it'll be around there it gives enough space for us to reject this um this come into this zone again and reject it and push up but i don't think that's going to happen i think we're just going to push straight up this is a trade from last week so i mean i, I already know what's going to happen um because i was watching this trade uh, and I, I was pretty certain that this was going to happen at the time and it did so um that is where you put your stop uh, and obviously your target i mean this is about a four to a, a one to four point three um pretty pretty clean trade to be honest just bounce straight off there i'm just gonna let this play uh, and then i'll show you the daily after so on the 30 minute look like this we had all the volume from london session then all the volume from new york pushing us up and why did we push up there because this is a clear zone where buyers enter the market um so we look to catch these buyers entering the market in the specific sessions and that is exactly what happened here so i'm going to show you the daily time frame what happened here now so let that play boom just like that massive rejection just like that so basically our overall bias we just use the daily pretty simple we've used the daily to determine what's going to happen 
But then we went down onto the lower time frame and found a way to catch the entry because if we were just using the daily there, we wouldn't be able to ca catch the entry. So using the 30 minute, we caught our entry and our stop loss, but we left the target on the daily because this allows for optimum risk to reward. It's that simple. If you take this and you add this to your trading, I'm sure it's going to work wonders for you. The same patterns happen every day. Uh, and if you want to know the reason why I got out here, it's because um, I'm just going to focus on the daily now. Um, so basically, as you can see, um, there is a strong zone here, which we could reject because if we look further up, we had a zone just last week. We broke through, we came back to a zone and then we closed straight back down. We rejected the zone just like that to push down. And there's a very high chance that we could do that again here to push further down. So I don't want to be in that buy trade any longer. And it was a Friday, it was the last day of the week. So pretty simply, that is how it's done. Um, I'm sure you've gained a lot from this video. Uh, I can think of a hundred examples if you want, if you want to me to give you them but I'm not going to in this video um, it's it can trading can be a beautiful thing if you know how to master the markets and you know how to master psychology and money management and risk um, but obviously I, I only touch the surface of everything here um, so there is a lot more to it don't think just doing this is going to make you profitable you have to add other elements to your trading but this is a very good start if you kind of take this information in Another point, uh, don't think this is just defined to GBP AUD. Uh, this works on many, many currency pairs um, and indices. Uh, but obviously, you have to do a bit of testing yourself. See when volume's coming into these pairs. I know because I trade GJ and GA. I know when volume comes in and I know how the market moves. I know its key levels. So you have to get used to it over time. You will figure out your pair, you will learn when volume comes in, you will learn your levels and you will learn how it trends. It just takes time. That's the main thing with trading, it takes time. As long as you don't give up, you will get there. 